content to a module, first you need to have a module. So it is easy to add a module by hitting the blue plus module button. From there, you can add the module name that you would like it to be. A lot of people will create their modules using unit or module, etc. And usually they have them um, to match however many units or modules or maybe even weeks they have throughout the, the semester, trimester, quarter. So I'm just going to do it as module one. Introduction. Then from there, I can click on the add module button. Now, instead of coming up here to add content to that module, I'm going to come over to my right hand side and click on the plus button of that module. I can go to my add section and I can choose what I would like to add. I can add assignments, I can add quizzes, files, pages, discussions, text headers, external tools, or external URLs. External URLs are going to take you students to an outside web page. Um, text headers are not going to take them anywhere, but they're going to help you organize your module as shown in this teacher module. This about this template, about Canvas, Canvas overview and resources, those are all going to be um, those text headers. So in order to add something, I'm going to come, like I said, to this plus button. I'm going to click and I'm going to add. I can add a page. When I add my page, I can either create a brand new page, which is what is often done, or if you already have a page that's been built that you would like to add, you can come and you can um, click on it and then you can click on the add item. If it, you want a new page, click on that create page. You're going to click on, uh, or you're going to type in the name. So maybe it's going to be um, World War One Introduction. And then I'm going to add the item there. Notice now when I click on this, it's going to be a page that is blank that now I'm able to go in and edit. I can do the same thing with, as I mentioned, assignments, quizzes, and discussions.